Well, I think I am a little older than Jackie, but we were all living together up on Sugar Hill. And uh, Jackie lived right across from my friend Lowell Lewis. They played together, Andy Kirk Jr. Uh, all of us interacted and played with each other in various uh, configurations of groups, you know. And um, so I've known Jackie for quite a while. I think before he, you know, and then we all came in with Miles Davis. Uh, as you know, Miles made some records with Jackie and myself. So we were sort of, we represented sort of the, um, I've said this before, so I hope I'm not being redundant. I've, uh, I've been talking about Jackie to some people recently, and I think I've made this point before, but I'll make it again. Uh, Jackie and I, when we started playing with Miles, we represented the uh, hard bop element. You know what I mean? And a lot of people in the community were very happy to see Miles because Miles had made this cool jazz record and was very successful. But it, it had an alienating effect, uh, as strange as it may seem, on some people in, in, in our community, uh, jazz lovers, you know. So with Jackie and myself, we represented the more um, hard-edged music that they liked, you know. Um, but, uh, you know, Jackie was an extremely uh, gifted musician. I mean, I just knew Jackie all the way from, you know, hearing him practice and playing around everything, you know. And we had a lot of uh, good uh, times together. We didn't play that much together. Uh, Jackie sort of went off in a different direction in the way of speaking. He made a lot of records with Dexter Gordon and people like, like that, and I was sort of. So we didn't play together after a certain period, but we came up together, you know. Jackie McLean, the man, like you, survived uh, the plague of heroin that ate through our community and moved to Hartford and did something really remarkable, starting the Artist Collective there. Did, uh, before Jackie did that, was there anything in the man that you thought would lead him in that direction, to reach out to the community and, and just teach and help people like that? No. I was completely... I was completely unaware that Jackie had any inclinations of that sort. And it was to my surprise later when I began meeting a lot of musicians that Jackie turned out, so to speak. And his uh, uh, extraordinary work up there with the Artist Collective I was way behind the curve on that. I didn't, you know, I, I knew Jackie sort of from playing, but I didn't know he was really going to be such an important figure in, in, in teaching. So uh, it was a nice thing to hear, a nice thing to know about, you know.